Welcome to Hope for Today. When I was in eighth grade, our band director put a sign on the wall of the band hall. It read, dare to be different, dare to be noticed. You know, we're living in a time when nonconformity is, is popular. Yet in the body of Christ, we're still having a lot of people who have a problem with conforming. I'm not talking about the latest fashions or the latest technology. In fact, R.C. Sproul in his classic work, The Holiness of God, explained it. He said, the simplistic way of not conforming is to see what is in style in our culture and then do the opposite. If short hair is in vogue, the non-conformist wears long hair. If going to the movies is popular, then Christians avoid movies as worldly. He goes on to write, the extreme case of this may be seen in groups that refuse to wear buttons or use electricity because such things too are worldly. He goes on to say, a superficial style of nonconformity is the classical pharisaical trap. The kingdom of God is not about buttons. It's not about movies or dancing. The concern of God is not focused on what we eat or what we drink. The call of nonconformity is a call to a deeper level of righteousness. And that goes beyond externals. When piety is defined exclusively in terms of externals, the whole point of the apostles' teaching really has been lost. Sproul goes on to say, somehow we have failed to hear Jesus' words. That is not what goes into a person's mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of that mouth. We still want to make the kingdom a matter of eating and drinking. Well, that's not how it should be. So today, let's focus on a deeper level of righteousness. I'm Pastor Rusty. This is your hope for today.